I came down from Central Vic to the valley they call La Trobe. Seems like only yesterday, but it was actually 20 years ago. Up home I used to hunt with staghound dogs and trusty guns. There were foxes, roos, pigs and goats, and we got our share of good ones. The paddocks were big and wide and the bush was rough and dry. I grew up with all the farmers' kids, so gaining access was as easy as saying good day. But down the valley things were different in many, many ways. Properties are small and I knew no one, so it seemed gone were my hunting days. Ten years went by and my guns lay silent. I was occupied by other things. Sometimes a family struggles with the problems that big changes bring. Then one day I was having a yap and a beer with a neighbour down the road when an offhand comment about shooting would turn my life around. I asked my neighbour if he knew where best to sell my guns. Instead of sitting idle, I thought they might as well be used by someone. He said, why don't you try deer hunting, mate? There's a few around these days. If you go for a look in those hills behind us, you'll go all right. Evening's best, I'd say. So off I went for a bit of a snoop, with no idea what I was looking for. But a bad day in the bush is better than a good day at work. That's one thing I know for sure. Ten minutes in the bush and it all came back, the peace, the beauty and the smells. I was in my comfort zone, at home in the bush with the trees, the birds and the animals. I began to relax, I was in my element, the place I was meant to be. I found some tracks and then some rubs, fantastic sights to see. I went up a spur following some cloven hoof tracks, not really having a clue. The further I went, the more I could feel my long dormant hunting skills begin to revive and to renew. I blundered along until I heard a noise, maybe a twig cracking on my left. I froze on the spot, and bugger me, there stood two deer. It was enough to take my breath. Of course they were on to me, and off they crashed, leaving me with a mouth wide agape. But that was enough to get me in. I was hooked from that moment on, and my future had now been shaped. Since then I've taken many for the freezer, and some antlers adorn the walls. Hind, calf, spiky or stag, they're all trophies to me, and there is always emotion when one falls. It's not about killing. There's many times I go out and don't even fire a shot. Sometimes I just sit and watch and learn and give thanks for the deer and the freedom to hunt that I've got. The Samba deer is a wonderful animal with so many special skills. I love testing myself and competing with them in our ancient an eternal battle of wills. For me, the bush and its deer are treasures of priceless value that deserve our utmost respect. I've loved introducing these treasures to my children and hope there are many more experiences to enjoy yet. I hope many others get the chance to experience these same joys. And I look forward to seeing you out there, all your hunting girls and boys.